Subscribe to Software Testing Mentor channel, learn latest technologies in software testing, test automation, testing tools, and much more. Hello friends, welcome to Jira Training. In this tutorial, I'll explain you how to configure swim lanes in Jira board. So to get started, log into your Jira test instance and go to the board for which you want to configure your swim lanes. So I'm already logged in. I'll go to the MOP board and to configure the swim lane, I'll close this, go to the board drop down and click on configure. Now under configure, you'll see a lot of configuration option available for the board. So you have general columns, uh, swim lanes. So just click on swim lanes for configuring swim lanes and then you can see there are different options available for swim lanes. So you can configure your swim lanes based on the queries, stories, assignees, uh, epics, projects or no swim lanes. So if you select no swim lanes and go back to board and if you see the active sprint or go to the column view of the board you will see there are no swim lanes. So you, ju you just see a simplified workflow which, which shows to do in progress done. And you see the, uh, the issues are just displayed below those columns. Now if I go back to the board and configure swim lane based on certain criteria. So for example, I want to select or display swim lanes based on the epics. So select epics and click on go back to the board and now you see that your board for sprint 4 has been configured or the swim lanes are being configured based on the epic so d1 login is one of the epic um, if you scroll down you will see demo epic which has one issue it, it's another epic wherein one issue has been displayed in the done column um, then there is another epic demo issue and similarly, um, issues without EPIC is also listed. So that's basically how the swim lanes are being configured. So at the moment, you can see the swim lanes are being configured based on the uh, EPIC. To change it uh, with, with some other criteria, you can simply go back and change it to assignees, stories, queries, etc. So if you say assignees, so um, swim lanes will be configured based on the assignee so who who is the particular assignee for a particular uh, task in jira so other configuration available is show below the swim lane um, or show above other swim lanes so that's another configuration so i'll say show below other swim lanes and if you go back you can see now the assignees uh, based on the assignee you can see the issue. So there is one issue assigned to John, three issues assigned to me, and there are unassigned six issues. So that is um, how you configure swim lanes on the boards. Um, the other important swim lane configuration available is based on the queries, uh, wherein you can define certain queries or the criteria. So for example, I have already uh, defined the criteria um, to make swim lane or, or display swim lane based on the component. So uh, all the issues or all the UI related issues, I want to display under swim lane UI and all the database, um, com all the issues related to component database, I want to display under issue uh, or under swim lane DB uh, or I'll change it to database, okay? And update it. Now, if you go back to the board, you will see the swim lane is being defined or it's available uh, based on the query. So I have defined a query for UI and I have defined a query for database and anything uh, which doesn't have the component defined. So for example, MOP9 hasn't been configured or hasn't been assigned any component. Uh, it will be displayed or all those issues which don't have any component will be displayed in everything else. If I go back and uh, assign a component to MOP9. Say I'll say uh, it's a it's database, and then 
just um, refresh I'll just refresh um, the page and you'll see that under database there is MOP9 listed now because um, MOP9 I have I have assigned the component as database so that is um, pretty much all about configuring uh, the swim lanes and configuring your configuring your swim lanes based on different criteria available in Jira so hope you like the video please subscribe and like thank you